this video, I'm going to talk about getting WordPress up and running so you can do the activities in this series. We mentioned that in the first video, it's the best way to actually learn. So here's what you'll need. Obviously a computer with an internet connection and you have one since you're watching these videos, a web hosting account to install WordPress, and again, the resources folder from OS Training. There are a number of advantages for using a live server for this course. You can access it from anywhere. You can easily share the site with other people. And when you're ready to launch, well, it's already there. And so you'll need a web host. If you have one already, you can get a WordPress site set up at your host, maybe in a subdomain or a subfolder. It will need to at least support PHP version 5.6 and MySQL version 5.6 or above. Your web host must support PHP because that's the language that WordPress is written in. Most hosting companies that handle PHP and MySQL already support WooCommerce, but it's worth choosing carefully. Some hosting companies are better than others. There's a support area at wordpress.org support where you can search for people's experience with hosting companies and maybe get some advice there. You might want to contact the hosting company's customer support and ask what it knows about WooCommerce. If they don't know WooCommerce or can't support it, well, then maybe it's time to look for a different host. There are a number of companies that actually specialize in WooCommerce. They're managed by WooCommerce experts. They know exactly what it takes for a WordPress site to run well. They'll keep your web server up to date and they usually provide extra features that make it easier to install and manage a WooCommerce site. One of the companies that does that very well and is sponsoring this course is Nexus, nexus.net. They really know what they're doing and it's unbelievably simple to get WooCommerce up and running with Nexus. Let's head over to ostraining.com slash books slash WooCommerce slash Nexus for instructions to sign up with Nexus. We're going to do that right now and I'll show you how easy it is. If you'd rather install WordPress yourself, the instruction is at ostraining.com slash books slash WooCommerce slash web. I'm over here at nexus.net slash WooCommerce slash hosting. And you're going to want to decide what level of hosting you need. I'm going to strongly recommend that you take a look at their cloud pricing options. Hosting in the cloud offers scalability, security, and performance. And it just means you don't have to worry about your hosting. All of their cloud hosting is auto scaling, PCI compliant, and they have comprehensive development tools to really give you the maximum out of your hosting. So no matter what level you're at, this is affordable WooCommerce cloud hosting that just can't be beat. You can take a look at all of the details of their cloud hosting here on the page, but I'm going to get set up with a shared smaller level cloud hosting, not worrying because it will auto scale. I'm going to click sign up and it's a pretty typical sign up process. I'm going to put in my credentials and agree to the terms of service, put in your domain name and then select what e-commerce you're going to use. Of course, WooCommerce will allow it to auto install. They do a fantastic job of this. Once again, I'm going to select the small for our demo purposes, but you'll want to make sure that you read all of the features of each plan to make sure you choose the one that's right for you. Click Next, and then of course, fill in your information. If you have a discount code, you can put it in here and then click Create Account. It takes just a few moments and then you'll be ready to go. You'll get an email that looks just like this with all of your login information below. Click on those links and you're ready to get started. We really appreciate the great folk over at Nexus for sponsoring this course and making it so easy to get WooCommerce up and running.